Happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there. Hopefully you're taking a little bit of time and reflecting on some things that maybe you're grateful for, thankful for in your life. Uh, make sure you do that. It's very important for you to uh, show gratitude on a day like today. My name is CJ Curry and in today's video, I'm back with three more prize picks plays, taking an early look at what is technically tomorrow's slate, the Black Friday slate. So guys, let's get locked in early here. Let's try to capture some more value. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, get subscribed now, ring that bell so that you're notified anytime I drop a new piece of content and absolutely positively hit the like button if you're thankful for a video like this one. Now, yesterday's video, we did capture some very good early value. We had Drew Holiday's point line get bumped down from 3.5, 13.5 points, all the way up to 15.5 points before settling in at 14 and a half. So we did capture one point of value, but unfortunately, Drew Holiday was not making any shots. On top of that, we had another play, uh, DeMontis Sabonis, who had never scored 21 or more points against Jonas Valanciunas. Well, as they say, there's a first time for everything and last night just happened to be unfortunately for us DeMontis Sabonis's first time scoring 21 or more against Joe Val and then the third pick was the pick that actually did hit which was the one that probably a lot of you guys were most skeptical about and that was Dylan Brooks going up against his former team the Memphis Grizzlies it took him a little time it took him a few shots but but Dylan forehead Brooks did end up coming through on his 10.5 points. So all of those lines ended up getting bumped. So I think we did do a good job of identifying good spots, good values, but hey, at the end of the day, we can't control the outcome. We can't control what the players do once the ball gets tipped up in the air. And so unfortunately you're going to have days like yesterday, but it wasn't all bad. No, it wasn't all bad. What I will say is that you're, if you're in the dub club, if you're part of our discord community, Listen, we actually had some nice winning picks go out to the Dub Club and Discord, the Eyes on the Prize Discord. So uh, we ended up hitting on this three pick. I did a three pick flex, was able to get the sneaky backdoor 3X payout by uh, having two picks hit and one tie. So that goes from a 2.25X payout on a three pick flex all the way up to a 3X payout. So we cashed in on that one. And then we had a couple of quick sniper shots that I sent out there. We took Scotty Barnes over 32.5 PRA, sweaty, but he ended up getting it done. We took Chris Stapps Porzingis under 10.5 rebounds and assists, and he did go under against the Milwaukee Bucks. So that was another two pick power play. And then this next one was uh, Evan Mobley for under 13 and a half rebounds and assists. The Cavaliers ended up uh, getting blown out by Miami. And then uh, Duncan Robinson on the other side of that same game parlay ended up going well under 20 point five points and rebounds so if you're a dub club member if you're part of the eyes on the prize community then uh, all was not lost you know the the video picks didn't do so uh well but we did make up for it with some winning picks in the dub club so if you want to join the dub club i'll leave a link down in the comment section i will pin that over 350 members are winning more together with me and the rest of the community in Dub Club. It breaks down to about 67 cents per day. Really affordable if you're looking for more winning picks on the daily. Speaking of picks, let's take a look at our prize picks plays today, my friends. I've actually got three picks lined up for you. Starting with this first one, Daniel Gafford of the Washington Wizards. He's at 9.5 points over on prize picks. This has actually been surprisingly a pretty consistent line for Daniel Gafford to clear. Let's take a look at his game logs this season courtesy of props.cash. If you're not using props.cash and you want to get access to these fantastic visual masterpieces, these charts that you see in front of you, go down to the description of today's video, click that special link and get signed up for props.cash. Uh, you'll save 25% off your first months when you use code Curry. All right. So take a look at Daniel Gafford here talking about a model of consistency. His last five games, he's gone over nine and a half points in each of those games. And one of those games was going to be against his opponent, in this next game, which is the Milwaukee Bucks. 
You can see what he's done throughout his career against the Milwaukee Bucks. I don't know why. Maybe he likes playing against Milwaukee. I can't really tell you the reason for it. But I could tell you that when they played each other just a few days ago, he did have 14 points against Brooke Lopez and that Milwaukee Bucks team. So he's been consistent over the last five games. Uh, five out of his last five, he's covered this. And on top of that, it is a plus EV play. So let me drag in the Daily Grind Fantasy Optimizer and blow this up for you guys so you can see what I see here. When we type in Daniel Gafford's name, you take a look, the best way to play Daniel Gafford at this moment uh, here on Thursday afternoon is to take the points over nine and a half, almost a 53% chance that he clears this number. So things are looking pretty good here for Daniel Gafford. He's got good hit rates recently. He's already hit once against the Milwaukee Bucks in a recent matchup. It's a plus EV play. Now let's go check, check some of these projections out on Gafford real quick. Early projection provided to us by Rotowire in this case has him at 13.6 points. The line's just 9.5, so four points a difference there. His line on prize picks versus where he's at on the projections on Rotowire. But let's check another projection. This projection site is a free one. It's called Betting Pros, and Betting Pros has Daniel Gafford projected all the way up at 12.3 points. Now, maybe he doesn't get 12 or 13 points, but all we need out of him is 10. And he is projecting for three to four points higher on a couple of these different early projections. So Daniel Gafford, for me, I think is one that we should be considering taking the over on, not the under. So think about that one, uh, one of your early NBA entries. Let's talk about this next one. Chris Dapps Porzingis of the Boston Celtics. He's going up against the Orlando Magic. It's going to be one of those NBA in-season tournament play-in games. He's going to be on the road in Orlando, facing an Orlando Magic team that surprisingly over the last seven games as good as they've been defensively, have given up quite a few rebounds to the center position. When we take a look at the last seven games, 16.7 rebounds per game. That's actually the third most rebounds per game to opposing bigs in that seven game span. They've been playing Goga Batazzi a lot at the center position. And, uh, Let's just say he's not typically the starter for the Orlando Magic. Wendell Carter Jr. is injured, so Batazzi has been getting a lot more minutes at the five spot. Now, not only that, but the Orlando Magic have been giving up a healthy amount of points per game as well to the center spot. Over 23 points per game, which puts them closer to the top than the bottom, meaning a better matchup for Chris Stapp's Porzingis. So things are looking pretty good matchup-wise. Well, what about the hit rates? You guys are probably wondering how well Chris Stapp's Porzingis has done at 25.5 points and rebounds. Well, I got you covered. We're back here looking at props.cash. He's played 14 games this season, has Porzingis. Nine out of those 14 games, he's actually covered 25 and a half points and rebounds. That's a 64% hit rate, averaging 26.5 points and rebounds in that span. But when you take a look at the last six games, especially, you could see a lot more green in Chris Stapp's game log hitting in five out of his last six games at 25.5 points and rebounds so Porzingis another consistent hitter when it comes to this points and rebounds line of 25.5 let's get you some projections here and take a look and see if it's a plus EV play so back to the daily grind fantasy optimizer we go we're just going to punch Porzingis's name in and when we do so we can see that it's not really a plus EV, nor is it a minus EV play. I mean, it's sitting right there as like an EV neutral play. He's at 25.5 points and rebounds. So uh, is it plus EV? I guess you could say maybe slightly, but not much. I wouldn't really classify it as a plus EV play. But what I will say is this. When I went to check some early projections for Chris Stapp's Porzingis, a lot of these projection models loved Zinger today. 28.7 points and rebounds on a line of just 25.5. So here we go. We got 3.2 points and rebounds different on this early projection on Rotowire when compared to Porzingis' line on prize picks. Taking a look at a second projection for you. Again, we're going back to betting pros. Betting pros has us covered here with a 27.1 points and rebounds projection for Porzingis. So we got two different early projections for Zinger saying he's going to melt this line of 25.5 points and rebounds. Again, the Magic have been giving up a good amount of points and rebounds. So the matchup's looking good here for Chris Stapp's Porzingis to go for more than 25.5 points and rebounds but uh, if you want to take the less that's up to you I mean you could go whichever way you want here but the numbers 
for me, tend to lend themselves to the over. Which brings us to our third play. That's right. I'm going to sneak in a third one. If you guys want me to uh, continue to cover three, maybe four, five, or more plays, make sure you're subscribed. Hit the like button and let me know down in the comments section if you want me to cover and break down even more picks. And I'll do it for you. I'm willing to go the extra mile. But let's take a look at our secret sauce third pick of today's video. It's going to be Aaron Gordon at 6.5 rebounds going up against the Houston Rockets. Again, talking consistency here. It doesn't get a lot more consistent than a guy like Aaron Gordon. Just take a look at his last 10 games here. He started to heat up on the glass. We've seen him cover 6.5 rebounds in 67% of his games this season, actually 10 out of 15 games, but it gets even hotter when you take a look at the last 10 games, eight out of the last 10, 80% hit rate, all right? Averaging 8.7 rebounds per game, that's 2.2 rebounds per game higher than uh, his line today at 6.5 rebounds. So I think this is a really good matchup. We've already seen him play the Houston Rockets once this season. That was back on November the 12th, a couple weeks ago. And when he did that, he pulled in eight boards against Houston and these Rockets. So we know that he can get it done against this team. We've seen him get it done very consistently over the last 10 games. Like I said, eight out of 10, 80% hit rate, averaging almost two rebounds higher than his line. So let's take a look and see if this is a plus EV play or not by simply looking at the Daily Grind Fantasy Optimizer. And if you guys wanna get your hands on this tool here, folks, it's real simple. You go down to the description of today's video. I've left a special link. Use that link, use code Curry when you check out and take advantage of this Daily Grind Fantasy Optimizer tool. It's really a game changer, especially if you're playing on a site like Prize Picks. But here we go, Aaron Gordon, 52.8% chance, almost a 53% chance that he's gonna haul in at least seven rebounds against the Houston Rockets in this matchup. So we know that it's a plus EV play, that the juice, that the odds are on our side and in our favor. So now that we know that, let's go take a look at a couple of projections here for Aaron Gordon of the Denver Nuggets. And when we do that, the first projection, which is again, provided by Rotowire, has got him all the way up at 8.2 rebounds. He needs seven, but he's projected for more than eight. So I like that first projection. I think it bodes well for Aaron Gordon covering six and a half boards. It looks good, right? And if it doesn't look good, then please, by all means, don't take it if you don't like it for some reason. Uh, Taking a look at a second projection. Again, this one's provided by Betting Pros. Betting Pros is a free site you guys can go check out if you're looking for some free player prop projections. They've got you covered over on bettingpros.com. All right, they've got them projected all the way up at 7.8 rebounds, my friends. So that's two different projection sites, two different models that both have Aaron Gordon going over 6.5 rebounds. So matchup's pretty decent. He's already covered once against Houston this season with eight boards. Plus, he's been hitting the over really consistently in 80% of the last 10 games in which he's played in. So things are looking up and up. And we've got two solid projections saying Aaron Gordon is going to go for more than six and a half rebounds. So Things are looking pretty sweet here. Which one of these picks are you liking the most? Let me know down in the comments section and I'll be back real soon with another prize picks video for you guys. I appreciate all the support. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Go spend some time with your loved ones, your friends, your family, and tell them how much you appreciate them being in your lives. All right, catch you in the next one. Peace.